Welcome to Lovely News Network, and I have another story that's coming from my first favorite state, Wretched Ass, Florida. Now, this story is really sad. It's about a young girl who's 11 years old, and basically, she was driving in the car with her 28-year-old mother. Her name is Rosa Rivera, so they're driving around in the car, and the mother has some type of psychotic episode. It had to be, because this whole situation makes no sense whatsoever. But she proceeded to stab her 11-year-old daughter. And instead of after stabbing her, realizing what she did, you know, taking her to her hospital, trying to get her help, she then proceeded to drive around Orlando, Florida, the, the city I just left from yesterday, okay? She proceeded to drive around Orlando, Florida with her daughter in the back of the car until her daughter basically succumbed to her injuries. The 11-year-old ended up dying. Once the little girl was dead, the mother then goes into a local hospital and says that her daughter has been stabbed to death, she's in the car, but that it's okay because she knows her daughter's in heaven. This entire story is really disturbing and they're saying that the reason why the mother stabbed the little girl is that she wanted to prevent her from having sex with men. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Now at 11, a mother sitting in jail suspected of killing her own daughter. Deputies say she drove to an Orlando hospital with the dead child inside that car. Within the past few hours, Rosa Rivera was booked into the Orange County Jail. This is her new mugshot. Good evening to you, I'm Eric Von Eggen. Glad you're with us tonight. Our cameras were there as deputies put her in handcuffs. Investigators say she stabbed the 11-year-old to death and then drove her to Winnie Palmer Hospital and even threatened police there. News 6 Jerry Askin is live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office tonight. And Jerry, the question everyone is asking tonight is why? Eric, you know, great question. One I've been asking deputies all day, and right now we're still working to get a response. But I can tell you right now, as you mentioned, Rosa Rivera is locked up here in Orange County on no bond. The saddest part, perhaps, we're finding out um, her daughter would have turned 12 years old four years from today, four days from today. And right now we're finding out her mom is sitting behind bars accused in her murder. That was in jail. Dressed in all blue scrubs, tonight, 28-year-old Rosa Rivera walked alongside deputies to a patrol car bound for jail. Anything you want to say, Rosa? Investigators saying she stabbed her 11-year-old daughter multiple times, then drove her here to Winnie Palmer Hospital. That's where doctors say she was already dead. Tonight, she wouldn't answer any of my questions and show no emotion as she was hauled off the jail to face her first-degree murder charge. Any reaction to your charges? Now, earlier today, her face was covered in tears and grief outside of Winnie Palmer Hospital. Her head held low, and all she could do was cry as she was handcuffed and surrounded by investigators and paramedics who gave her an arm bandage. Tonight, though, in her new mugshot, a much different Rivera. Today, seen causing a brief hospital lockdown around 1045 this morning. That's when investigators say she drove up demanding help for her daughter, but it was too late. She got upset. And authorities say she pulled a knife out before she was arrested. Today, for hours, medical examiners walked around Rivera's car. All happening as this large blue covering made sure hospital gores didn't see anything too graphic. Right now, we're asking where this whole thing started. All that's Rivera now sits in jail. And of course, we're asking more questions to deputies about the investigation first thing tomorrow morning. You can imagine we still have lots of questions and hospital gores, perhaps. Um, I've walked inside tonight and the folks in the jail told me we can expect perhaps for Rose Rivera to have her first appearance tomorrow. So, of course, we'll let you all know if and when that happens and what she has to say. For now, we're live in Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6. No words, Jerry. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So from what the article is saying, they're saying that everything started around 7.30 in the morning and that basically the mother was just banging stuff around her apartment. She was going off. She was yelling on the daughter. And so neighbors heard her asking the daughter, did she have sex with some man there in the complex? And the daughter was saying, no, she hadn't had any sex. And then that's when the mother told her to get into the car and said they were going for a ride. Now, from what the medical examiners are saying... They're saying the little girl, from what they've, you know, they looked at her body and stuff, 
She had not been tampered with. Nobody had had sex with her. So the mother just seems just batshit crazy. And from some of the comments I read in the comment section, they're saying that the mother moved from Texas to Florida and the mother had been getting high and she was a horrible mother and this girl was growing up in a really, really, you know, toxic environment and that nobody would have thought that the mother would have killed the child. But I really wish that the people who knew how bad of a mother she was and what this young girl was going through, I really wish they had did the due diligence to call the police, to call Child Protective Services because had they done that, maybe this little girl would still be alive today. So this entire situation is just really disturbing disturbing especially being that the girl was 11 years old she's being accused of something that she's not doing and then you know the mother turns around and takes her life i hope they lock her up in jail and throw away the damn key because this situation makes no sense with so damn ever so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire messed up situation concerning rosa rivera basically stabbing her 11 year old daughter to death because she wanted to prevent her from having sex with men so go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts all right Deuces.